by Dai Naha. Today I am in Bid at dinner. It's very in Nana area. And with one of my dearest sisters, Nong Sa. Okay. Oh, so good. So glad to see you again. And that's to you too. And it's been my honor that um, she's also a cabin crew and a photographer. And then we are here today for photo shooting in Wintex, Wintex style, as you can see from my outfit. Great. Can you just introduce yourself? A bit who you are, what you do now, and would like to do in your spare time. Okay. Yeah. So everyone, I'm Sai, and right now I'm the cabin crew in one of the airline in Australia area, and I have been there for about four years already. And also in my free time, I like to do the photo shooting and as well traveling around. So did you prepare yourself for the assessment day? Wow. Let me think about that. It was like four years ago. But first of all, as we have to actually like know about being a cabin crew, surely that you have to be able to be friendly, look friendly, look positive, and smile all the time. So let's say that when I first prepare myself, I prepare my outfit. I prepare my uh, like my face, grooming, check if I have anything missing. For example, if I don't know how to tie my hair put the correct makeup or any colors that actually fit my body because I, as you can see that I'm actually a tiny tie yeah that's pretty much like the first thing that I try on my first assessment day so did you do all the grooming all by yourself yeah. you have a hairdo wow that's yeah. great so the thing is just keep on practicing exactly. and then you, you can do it best on your, your real assessment day right. uh, moving on to the next one why do you think they selected you? I would say that they like my smile because I think it's the first thing actually people will see and feel either liking you or like unliking you. So I think they impressed about my smile, the way that I look at them and the way that I talk as well that it looks so welcoming like hey come on anything I can help let, let me do it for you. I think they can feel the vibe that I'm trying to present to them. Okay, so let's say a tight smile, a friendliness, and the confidence that I, I feel that she has it, and she had it on that day. Can you encourage other uh, other Kevin could want to be that uh, watching our channel right now? Or the ones that have been trying many times when you have applied for a Kevin Cook position and haven't achieved their goal yet? Practice make perfect. So I would say that if you don't success in the first time, just don't give up because I am one of the people who keep being trying to do it would say about like three times I would say that okay it might be like just a little time comparing to others mm -hmm. but as you can see that I don't actually look like a cabin crew in general I'm, I'm pretty like you do you know? she's pretty but I'm pretty big and as you can see that I don't actually look like a typical cabin crew that all the others that I would like like a bit tiny like pretty or like look in shape I'm not the person like that but I keep telling myself I can do it my body won't be a matter so I just keep going keep pushing until I can make it at the end so I mean just keep trying just make sure that you always smile make them feel make the recruiters feel like you are a welcome person like you're welcoming and you will be there to help them as well. Excellent. Yeah. I can feel so much positive energy from her. If you sit here, you feel like, oh my god, this is all in positive <laughs> Okay, last but not least, give us five characteristics that you think the empty wannabe should have as a qualification. As a qualification, firstly, you should be able to speak English pretty well because it's about it's actually related to the safety like when sometimes you have to tell the reason why the passenger must follow what we are telling them so i think that communication is is important so english please everyone just practice it it's truly going to be you and the another thing is uh, you have to be punctual yeah punctuality is really important because you have to be able to understand your sleeping time your waking time and as well you have to be able to calculate the time that you have to prepare yourself before the flight and as well the resting time before the flight because you will, you will never know what's gonna happen in the air you might not have to 
You might not have a time to break, so make sure that you are ready. The third thing I would say that you should be uh, responsible to the beauty. You have to be able to uh, keep yourself clean. I think this is pretty important because once you are doing a certain job, you should be able to let everyone that you think you're serving that you are hygiene, <laughs> that you clean, you smell nice. I think, I mean, it might be a little bit costly, but believe me that this will actually not everything, just the, <laughs> just the camera. <laughs> and also the last thing that I would say about is um, being positive all the time. You will never know what's gonna happen, how the problem would be so hard to solve. As long as you can tell yourself to smile, just go for it. It's gonna be alright. At the end, that will be the solution for you. Okay, that was a great encouragement from Sai, and I am so thankful that she's giving me today. So remember, keep it in mind: positivity, cleanliness, high responsibility, English speaking skills, punctuality. So that five characteristics that you should have if you want to be Kevin too. Alright, we got to go today, and bye for now. Bye! High responsibility, speaking skills, especially, and what's the other one?